You're angling with Adrienne. In this episode, I teach you how to do a wax line loop. So to start my wax line loop, I am actually using a 50 pound test here of nylon floss. Uh, you could just see this product here um, or use any other product on any tackle store that you find. I cut a long strand, let's just say maybe about 20 inches. Um, I put them together so they actually make a loop at the bottom. And basically the loop at the bottom is going to go ahead around your leader line and then you're just going to pull the tag end of the uh, wax line through and you're going to pull it so it looks like so. So after you do your first loop, you're just going to go ahead and continue to do half hitches. Um, I usually do them almost about uh, close to two inches. So basically you just continue these half hitches until the desired length. Um, and just keep doing half hitches all the way. You'll start noticing that the wax line does like a little spiral um, that's going to go ahead and show you that you're doing it correctly. What you're going to do is form a loop after you have your desired length, um, as you can see here, and then what you're going to do is um, another half hitch going the opposite way. One thing I want to stress on is you have to hold down your loop until you get that first half hitch nice and taut. That's what basically is going to hold your loop. However, you're going to need to do a few more uh, half hitches because uh, otherwise the loop will get taut. So you still want to go ahead and put uh, pressure on it with your fingers until you do maybe about five more half hitches and then you could just let that loop go. So basically what I have been doing the whole time is every half hitch, I make sure that it is nice and taut on the leader. I don't want it to run anywhere. So the tighter, the better. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and secure your wax line loop. Um, after you do all your half hitches, at the end, you're going to go ahead and uh, almost do like a half hitch, but you're going to bring the tag end three times around the leader. And the little loop that you have for your hitches, you're going to wind it the opposite way before you pull the tag end.
go ahead and cut the tag end of the wax line and this is what your uh, wax line loop should look like. Um, after that, you are all much, pretty much done. Catch them up. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you'd like to see more content like this or any other content, please comment below and let me know what you would like to see. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my fishing channel and thank you again for watching. Until next time guys, catch you guys later.